Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the CEO Strategy Game, and we are, of course, returning to our Union of Britain Let's Play of Kaiserreich Mode of Hearts of Iron 4. We've just seen uh, that the German Navy is present here in the North Sea. Uh, quite a couple of our ships have withdrawn. I'm, I'm debating on whether I want to disengage them. Uh, the one thing I'm waiting for is for these guys to join up. So these are currently rebuild uh, so they sorry they have finished their rebuild and uh, they that new now do carry quite a bit of better anti-air weaponry so they're gonna come in here they're gonna merge up and that should be fine i'm not sure whether the battle is gonna end then or not let's find out about that but the other thing is so i was thinking so there seem to be quite a couple of german dreadnoughts over here and our ships do have some trouble dealing with it um even including some of our destroyers which got sunk over here which of course is a bit Big, big pity. So, let's try about. Let's try thinking about bring our main fleet, our battle group over here. It's not our complete ship, uh, our complete fleet, because we have five dreadnoughts that are currently being refitted, and that's going to take a little while. But we do still have a, a number of dreadnoughts, and these are fairly good ships. I mean, the, these have incredibly high guns, so I would like to bring them in. And how, as I was looking in between episodes of what we were going to do. I noticed they're currently in battle and they're in battle against a couple of German dreadnoughts down here in the Caribbean. So we've got a couple of Germans here. Oh, German East Asia it is. Not not quite Germany, actually. Uh, but yeah, there is the SMS Ostfriesland and Helgeland and already the three dreadnoughts that were sung uh, by Bled, Bled Blanchet, Exmouth and Hindemann. So are these ships really by us? Blanchet. That doesn't sound like a particularly British name, does it? Is that one of our destroyers? Maybe one of our weird ones? I don't know. Anyway, we are currently in battle over here, but we'll be moving over there uh, in due time. Other than that, we do have a couple of ships and marines over here that are currently doing some missions. Um, they will be preparing for some invasions down here and up over here in Port-au-France. So let's see what comes out of that. We are fighting in Guantanamo Bay and we are fighting in whatever this is down here in Africa, uh, which honestly is a little bit annoying. And you know what? We might actually want to activate your battle plan. Have you gotten a promotion here that I didn't quite see? Why are you capable of controlling 30 units? Do you just gain that without me clicking it? You must have. Well, that's extremely interesting. That is extremely interesting to see. I would like to take Fortress Buster maybe with this guy, um, but we'll have to see for a second. We have a couple of guys that are currently North Africa garrison. You guys are currently guarding... Oh, yeah, indeed, in North Africa. What are you part of? Okay, this police force, yeah. So I suppose what I could do is ask you to garrison this these other areas here as well which we've just taken over from middle africa and i think that's going to be all right a tiny one there as well good yeah fantastic and hopefully the front is going to move up um as we go along there right that being said the big issue is we do have troops stationed over here and that includes our tanks our tanks currently have the plan to go to vienna which we might want to modify slightly I think it might be nicer to actually merge up with the Russians, but you know what, let's see how far we can get our, our units here, um, and let's simply advance them. I think I've sent over our units, our air units, yeah, mostly you guys should be over here, including a couple of dive bombers, mostly guys that we have uh, moved up from elsewhere, and you're moving to Holston, I think, so yeah, that's great. Good, let's see what's going to happen here, so we are taking into these two provinces, with our tanks and our, a couple of our motorized divisions. These guys are extremely good, but look at the Germans. They are amazing as well. Soft Attack 200. That's that's amazingly good. Terrain, Countryman. That is pretty good. I have to admit. And you guys will be starting your attack soon as well. But yeah, overall we are fine over there. These carriers are very close to joining. So that's nice to see. And we have won this battle over here. Very handily, I might add. Just look at the difference in damage that the East Asians are doing here. Or the German East Asians. Uh, compared to the damage that we are doing. 
and you can see it's mostly Dratnov that is doing all of the, the Dratnovs that are doing all of this damage against the enemy capital ships. I do want to scroll down here just a little bit to see. Well, some of them are doing a lot of damage, but against mostly small ships, I suppose. Yeah, but I'm fairly happy with this result. So that's very good for us. Um, of course, a couple of our ships are damaged over here, uh, but that's not the end of the world. Let's actually see what we can do. You are a accompanying these guys. That's okay. We are going to keep you as a strike force down here, do we? Okay, you are currently fighting. You are currently fighting. How about you? I mean, you're mostly like cruisers at this particular moment. Uh, but I suppose what I could do is actually ask you to not be uh, active over here, but instead come up over into the Caribbean. And in the Caribbean, I would like you to guard naval invasions. And this gentleman in particular is then going to come up over here to San Juan. And that means you guys can stop taking this as your responsibility. And we are going to move you up over towards being active in this vicinity. And you are going to come up towards Newcastle. This battle group here is going to come up to, well, not Newcastle, maybe let's say over here. And the scout fleet, it is going to come up to Newcastle, right. Yeah, and you guys should be re-getting your units fairly soon. How about these carriers? You are nearly over here. Let's have a look at that. And you are now in this battle. I'm not sure whether you're going to join now. Ace promoted, that's lovely. So what we're going to do here is we, we are going to withdraw. We're going to try to get away here, here. Um, I think we have lost way too many ships already. Even though, to be honest, it's not that much Right. Oh, interestingly enough, we did attack over here. Not doing that much damage, though. And we are making some progress against these lines. Apparently, we have uh, broken them here. This attack seems to be going okay. I suppose what I should try to do is punch these guys like there. Punch through there. Pin these guys up here. And that should be nice here. Indeed, it is. Good. A large number of tanks over here. And um, I suppose half of you could actually try to get to Berlin. And you know what? The other half... I'm going to curve a couple of you guys. I'm going to advance onto Leipzig. Magdeburg should fall soon, rather. Uh, let's grab all two of you. And come onto Berlin sort of this way. I think it would be very nice to take out Berlin. Yeah, we're making good progress over here. So that is definitely nice to see. It's a little bit funny that Denmark is the one controlling this. Right, apparently we have been uncovered. Some of our submarines have. Nevertheless, they are trying to dive away, so I suppose that's alright. A couple of our ships are trickling into this battle, which I suppose I don't really like to be seeing, honestly. Because you guys are suffering some damage here, aren't you? At least we did sink an uh, enemy cruiser, so that's nice. But yeah, just get out of there, guys, please. And that affects all of you, basically. Right, let's bri briefly see whether our ships are doing what we want them to do. Yes, you are indeed coming over, so that is nice to see. Good, and up over here, you guys are coming over there. Well, I suppose I don't really want you to attack right immediately. There, so um, let's actually ask you to stop all of your attacks. You do need to recover some organization, but nevertheless, Guantanamo Bay has fallen. Single infantry division attacking us, that shouldn't take too long. Right. Good. Where do we want to go next with our guys over here? Um, I suppose I can take half of you and ask you to be at least guarding over here. And that might be alright. And you guys. I'm not sure whether there is a poten potential to attack over here. It's looking a little bit weird. I'm not sure who owns this province. It's the Netherlands. Why is there a unit there? I don't get that right. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. So, we are defending well. Our uh, French cousins are defending well down there. You guys are doing fairly fantastically over here. Let's try to get Kremnitz Dresden. 
Uh, we are definitely advancing on Berlin there, so that's nice. Let's try to advance with these guys here as well, as well. And we are doing some damage towards their fleet. That is nice to see as well. This battle over here, we are now finally, hopefully, withdrawing. Yes, we are. So let's see. Two destroyers against two cruisers. I'm not going to get too excited about that. I don't think it, it was a good result for us at all. Right, you are hopefully um, retreating. Are you? You are, and you're coming back to Portsmouth. Okay, that, that I appreciate, good. Right. Just a couple of convoy sunk this. Ooh, there's a large fleet over there. Yep, and some naval stuff. Nothing too big, though. Right, let's um, dial down the speed here a little bit and see how well we can advance against these Germans. Support from comrades is done. That should give us quite a bit of political power up to, up to the point that we have actually some uh, left over. Right, we could go to support the Mexican comrades. It would be slightly helpful towards them. We could get some political power down here. Damocles project wouldn't be too bad either. I think it would be time for this, maybe. Go for a nuclear boost. Norway, I don't think we need to support. I don't think any of that does make much sense. We could... The one, the alternative, I think would be going either down here to radar. But you know what? Let's get nuclear. I like the idea. And I like the idea of marching into Berlin. There we go. Reports from Berlin confirm that the German city has been captured by advancing Danish troops. No, no, no. That's not true. It was us. After long merciless fighting throughout the greatest city of the Reichspark, German forces put up stiff resistance, hoping to delay the Danish forces or as long as for as long as possible, but were eventually beaten back. As shocked Berliners look on, the Danish army... Damn it! That's not the Danish! It's the 5th Northumbrian Infantry and the Highland Infantry. The British army per paraded down the Brandenburg Gate before listening to a speech by Willemie Bushy in front of the famous monument. That must be the sort of guy of, of them. A great victory for the Union of Denmark, isn't it? I don't think it is. But, you know what? We can't do anything about that. Right. Let's advance over there. Let's try to cut all of these guys off. Um, I think we'll be in big trouble over here very soon as these guys are sort of trying to re-establish their lines. Uh, I definitely think that very likely what we are going to see here is that they will be able to, to re-establish some sort of front line. Uh, although, I also suppose that they will withdraw quite a couple of forces over here. What have we got down here? Nothing too big. Mostly French ships. I don't care about these. Yeah, and you're coming back. How about you? You're still doing fine. Have you ever been upgraded yet? Yeah, that looks like a pretty modern ship to me. Good. Good for us. Right. Yeah, we do need to advance over here. We still need to... You are trying to come through here, and you're not really managing to break through. Ah, yeah, now, now you are. Okay, that's good. Now let's try to continue the advance into this field to just wreak more havoc there. We need to get to Statine, really. You're doing fine there. You've been doing great over here, but let's try to keep a consistent line. I don't want to, don't want to completely run ahead of our supply lines. I'm doing that enough in in the War on the East uh, mission. Advanced light medium battery upgrade. That's lovely. Uh, it's not really something that we can do something with right now, uh, because it's just way too too. Um, we are using way too many of our naval dockyards to repair stuff or, or upgrade stuff actually. Right, it is 1941, nearly 1942, so 1942 technology is sort of in the reach. I suppose tactical bombers would be really nice to grab. None of this is extremely important for us right now. suppose we could do this down here, it's only 73 days. Length not primary, have everything. That artillery, oh, certainly very good technology, you know what, let's grab that, and that's fantastic and lovely. Good. We are breaking through there. These guys should be taken care of fairly soon. You guys are also filling the gaps there, so that's pretty good for us. And yeah, very lovely. Yeah, we are breaking breaking through here hard. Overrunning a couple of enemy forces, that's great. 
and penetrating deep into their back line, so that is good as well. Where are you guys going? Um, to Berlin itself? Well, I, I suppose that's fine. Yeah, and you're going up here. I'm kind of asking to do maybe this, and then we need to look at our aircraft, actually. So, do fly over Eastern Germany, maybe, and you guys here can instead fly over uh, this particular region. That should be okay. Right, and then we've got these Teglev bombers. Let's also send you... No, sorry, that was naval bombers. That was stupid. These tactical bombers, we are also going to move towards over here. We've got no airfield in Berlin. Well, there's one south of it, but we don't really have control of that now. Should have that soon, though. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's ask you got you damn it, <laughs> you guys here. Uh, do come down here so that you have better coverage there. That's fantastic. Uh, we also got a couple more aircraft over here, so let's suppose we are going to bring them over here as well. Um, on absolutely as yes, a priority missions, that's good. Naval battles where we are doing some damage, where we are losing convoy or sinking convoy doesn't really matter. And another battle, naval battle up here, so that's all in all okay. And smaller naval battles up there. Good. Uh, let's keep an eye on the production. I suppose we will be using a lot of our... What on earth? Okay, you're doing that for the Soviets. Well, if the Soviet Navy is going to repair my shipyards, that's going to be alright. Um, you guys, though... So you are shot by two destroyers, firstly. Which I suppose means... That... You're going to get two destroyers. Okay, you guys do match up with these guys. You are being refitted. Okay, let's simply grab these two guys. You are... Are they these guys? I think so, yeah. Right, these guys. You're going to match up with these guys. And we're simply going to repel all of these guys. You can distribute along different fronts if you want. We also got these very modern destroyers. Yeah, we'll keep these around for now. Good. So you're gonna all repair in Sussex. That's gonna be alright, but that means, yeah, a lot of convoys, uh, a lot of Things are now being used for the repair of these ships, but it's not going to take that long. About five days for some of them. Cruiser and destroyer sunk. Lovely. It was mostly the French, though, so can't take any credit for that. Right, and Rostock itself seems to be still a big issue. Okay, we are advancing here. We are maybe not really holding out there too well. We will be coming under attack here, and you're coming there, and hopefully... Then on towards Rostock itself, so that all of these guys do actually get cut off. And we are at least establishing a front line down there of sorts. Uh, so that's nice as well. Right, you're coming there. I suppose you should try to break through a little bit more aggressively like such. Yeah, and then you over here will hopefully be making some progress there. You're attacking into here. You are also attacking into there. So these guys should fall pretty soon as well. So that does create a nice little pocket over here, which I very, very much like. Because that means these guys will fall faster, and we can we can be a bit more aggressive over here. As these guys do now fall. Come on, just, just collapse there. And we should see that collapse very, very quickly, really. Come on. 94%. It's going to be done soon. And we have established a front line over there. That too is nice. Suppose we can attack Rostock over there. Very lovely. Very lovely city too. You guys all going this way. Uh, maybe one of you can actually attack there. So that we can sort of create a very nice opening. All in all. Come on. Come on. Just... just capture that territory. Right, we have captured this. Lovely. We have displaced the Germans from over here. And I suppose we can attack Rostock a little bit more aggressively. And that does probably spell doom for Germany. Apparently they are still holding out on the rest of the front line. It's interesting. Yeah, but they are not doing too much there. 
But it's the middle of the winter. It's not necessarily frequent campaign season. But yeah, that's all right. Apparently we are taking over here into a vast number of troops there. Oh, interestingly enough, the Soviets are being pushed back and we actually see the Kingdom of Ukraine reappearing because Iron Guard U Romania has uh, joined the Axis forces. How close is Germany to surrendering? Not that close. Neither is Middle Africa. They're sort of halfway there. And over here, honestly, I think you could just try to be a little bit more aggressive, my friends. This is not what I would like to see. I would like you to see grabbing victory points. Especially when there's no enemy in sight. Great. Alright. How about the red units? You're coming in down there, you're coming there. You're fine. Okay, let's go ahead and start that attack. You guys are fine over there still. We've got a couple of divisions sort of strewn around. I think the syndicalists are finally advancing onto the Germans over there. Quite a couple of uh, police units being shuffled around. Okay, so that's great. Let's continue over here then. And let's do keep an eye on both of our construct, both our construction, um, our logistics as well. I think we're a little bit shy on light tanks, but nothing more, so that's all right. Yeah, some upgrades, but that's okay. Suppose we can build. No, sorry, not more medium tanks. I was thinking more light tanks. No, we're actually asking for more light tanks. Good. Right, relatively well positioned over here. I suppose we can gr try to grab Nuremberg. Can try to advance on Frankfurt and cut the Reichspark like that. I think that would be a very attractive offer. Okay, Percy, my friend, do stop this silliness. Percy, your job is going to be to be based over here in this little pocket and do spearhead onto Saarbrück and Luxembourg. Sort of what the Soviets would have done. It's sort of the, the old German border area-ish, not quite. Uh, but you, you can do this and then come over there. And I think that's going to be alright. Right, and basically the first Republican army here. I think we can get rid of this plan. And then simply build up another plan that is to take more of Germany. And eventually match up with the Soviets. Speaking of, speaking of matching... Or, or combining our forces with the Soviets. I think we're very close to be able to do this over here, so let's try to do that anyway. And deny the Germans any access to the sea up there. That would be great, wouldn't it? Where's your capital right now anyway? Essen. Interesting. All right. Oh, also, we're doing some port strikes over here. Yeah, that's a good result. Italy still holding out. And I think this will be a great relief for the Soviets, actually. To be able to get some... some respite uh, from the very heavy fighting that they've been doing for ages over there. And you're simply normally going down there. Yeah, you know what? Maybe at least you guys in the very far east could take the railroad. And you're fine. Maybe go this way instead. And you know what? So we don't see any enemy now, right now. Let's try to advance this way. Simply by normally pushing up with our motorized equipment. We are very thinly spread over here, of course. And that actually leads me to believe we should take our red units and bring them back home. We might want to advance a little bit here. We are already landing in Fort de France. I would like the, to get the West, West Indies to surrender. But of course, that's going to take a while. Okay, let's grab all of these guys. Basically, everyone who isn't busy right now. Uh, and your job is going to be to build a front line up here. It's going to take a while until these guys come over there. Oh, but that's going to be alright. Nuremberg, let's get to Munich. And maybe Augsburg, Stuttgart. 
Yeah, Germany is in free fall over here. There is no way that they can re recover from this at all. They have very low organization in some of these units, and I think they will not be able to take this. Yeah, and we'll be easily kicking them back here. The only gripe I have is that probably, probably Denmark is going to take uh, the the credit for all of these battles, or at least all of these occupations. Uh, Percy, my friend, once your tanks do get there, just try to get them to advance. Uh, I think that will be lovely. Good, and indeed we have we have taken them out over here, uh, or at least connected up our front line. So that's nice. Low echelon support, all very nice. Let's try to get this first fighting. Of course, we're going to spend this on that. Come on, just win. You're not even able to pierce our tanks. Well, not our tanks. Just the motorized equipment. Uh, which do carry some... Some level of... Uh, of tanks. But not that much, really. Okay. You just need to bot these guys and they will be alright. Someone over battles up there. Nothing too serious. We have actually advanced into Munich. Mm, you're a little bit... Stupid there. Let's try to get to... To Switzerland over here as well. Maybe we will be able to do that. You're defending pretty well over there. Let's try to just make this the drive onto Saarbrücken. Everyone over there is fine. Have reduced the front line here. Good. And you're now getting to different positions, which is good. I mean, I mostly want to make sure that we are. Not overextending ourselves, not stupidly losing any unit or anything like that. And um, you two units, can you just try to advance onto Essen? They will be having some supplies over there. Oh, and that's lovely. So the commune actually won in India with the help of Hidori Belt, it has to be said. And I guess these guys will be doing dodging it out at some point. Soviets against some German submarines. Some not so good battle over here. Is that the case? No, just a single aircraft lost. Okay. Don't care about that that much. I mean, kudos to our pilots and all that, but. Right. This is not going to be viable. Let's try to get down here. Nice battle over here again. Let's try to accelerate that a little bit. So that we can free up some forces. Come on, you should really win over here. And over there. So that you can go actually advance and drive further on towards Sobrecken and Luxembourg. Bells over here, mostly as they you would expect them to be. And I think the front line is freezing a little bit. Um no, we are not gonna accept volunteers. I think we are fine over here and you should be preparing for war against the Buryat. So don't really want your troops. You are a little bit low on organization, and by a little bit I mean a lot. But it's just it feels like so liberating to to literally liberating to to just kick the German Empire into the guts. Um, this is this just feels it's satisfying. Um, you guys here. I suppose we can overrun them and try to get towards Linz. At least once we get you to join up here. And you can also advance there. Right. And this is starting to look a little bit messy. But we will be able to. Where are you stronger? I suppose you're weaker down here. And in very short time we will be linking up with France. And the commune. There we go. Fantastic. Good stuff. Very nice. You guys, uh, your job. Drive to the coast from the east, actually. Um, and that's going to be fairly lovely. And you guys here. Well, your job is going to be a little bit more complicated. But I love it. I really, really like it. This is is so, so nice. Um, yeah, let's try to, try to drive into the rural area there. And occupy some some German lands. 
And I think this one, I mean, this is coming under attack here, but I'm, I'm fairly confident that that is going to hold. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be alright. Monheim itself could be could be liberated as well. I think the Donau Bund is actually pushing very strongly down here, but we will be alright. I'm fairly confident about that. God, oh man, this is this is the thing. Okay, there's a Caribbean battle. German Empire. A couple of capital ships, potentially. Although these guys are generally fine. How are we looking in terms of production, especially in terms of repair ships? Only going to be a couple of days. So not too bad, really. And our ships are coming online mostly in January. A couple of them even in December. That's nice to see. And then the Dreadnoughts are going to come up after that. That's alright. That's alright. How are you doing? Yeah, you're mostly mostly waiting for some of your destroyers to be repaired. But you'll be alright. And that's going to be nice. Good. We have conquered this territory down there. Oh, we are not really guarding this area here. So you guys... Um, your job is also going to extend to this area. Mm, likewise for our spotters, we do want to take these two areas here. And that should allow them to come to towards Georgetown there and there. Yeah, they are coming there now. Good. <sighs> Jesus, this is such a mess. Mm, can I grab one of you gentlemen and ask you to drive on Cologne? And one of you is going to drive on to Dortmund. All very, very important victory point provinces and all of that. Blackman Suka, so that's our new naval bomber. We are going to research our new uh, navalized version of that. That's going to be nice. And we are, of course, definitely going to look at our production. Going to look at our aircraft. Going to create a variant over here. Does it make sense to increase naval attack? I don't think it does. Range. Uh, well, maybe reliability, two buffs on that, maybe one on the engine, another one on the reliabil reliability. Yeah, I think I'll like it. So, that of course we're going to decommission, and then we are going to switch production. Oh, I think we might not actually be producing that. Baffin, naval bomber, yeah, okay, no, we are producing that. So, let's produce you. Okay, that was maybe a little, too, little bit too fast. Where's the Baffin? There we go. You're not going to be decommissioned anymore. Right, fantastic. Good. Um, What did we lose over here? Just an aircraft. Good. That's fine. Danish Navy being up there. That's okay. Good. Um, you can potentially go into this province there. And you can advance into this mount. I suppose. Yeah. Fine, fantastic. Good. So broken. Right, there we go. Cologne, lovely. Let's drive into Arken here. Interestingly, their line is still not really collapsing. Let's take Maastricht. You've taken Dortmund. So, I suppose Munster is next. It's going to encircle this single province here. But that should also be alright. Can drive through there. And then you guys... One of you is going to go here. One of you is going to go there. And one of you is going to go there. And maybe up towards Groningen itself. Yeah. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What's going on? Is this a peace conference or is it simply going to freeze and, and going to be a bug? It might be a peace conference. This is a lot of victory points that we have been taking here. No. I was just recalculating. And I mean, this that this is Denmark is a little bit silly. No. Between the Dutch East Indies and the Commune of France. Hawaii, Germany, Asia... Okay, some sort of events are, are firing and I have no idea what they are. Uh, let's do keep an eye on these Dreadnoughts. So look at that. That's what I'm saying. That's This is why I'm saying cruisers are more, or light ships are more important than heavy ships. All of these cruisers are now sinking two Dreadnoughts. 
That's a fairly fantastic result. I mean, they might be damaged. They're not even that damaged. So yeah, that's definitely great. You're landing down there still. That's keeping on things up here. And I suppose very soon we're going to see further events. Shall we go to Groningen or maybe to more small Amsterdam? Yeah, this we are expanding. You know what? You can try to attack here as well. And the Germans here. It's a weird war. <laughs> sometimes sometimes it's it's weird how, how exactly the game sort of tries to treat these things. We are being flanked over here and, and there's again another event that is firing or something. Because there is a lag here. I'm not pausing. This is the game itself. And here we go. Here we go, my friends. We have beaten the German Empire. And that is certainly very, very lovely to see. Um, what areas do we want to take then? I'm not entirely sure for now. We could take all of these guys are potentially our, or were our enemies. I suppose I would like to take Cuba. I'm relatively neutral in regards to all, any other of these nations. Soviet Russia, all of our guys here have, have, oh, actually the Soviets have already taken, taken quite a bit of, a, a large chunk of the kingdom of Ukraine over here. Interesting. I would like to get oil-rich provinces. There are not that many though, uh, so I suppose that is out of the picture. Except some very small ones over there, but... I don't really think that these count. So I suppose what we can try to take is Morocco. I think it does make a certain sense to try and re-establish our, our dominance over the um, Atlantic. And you know what? We're also going to take Cuba. British demands? Yeah. We've taken all of this, and then the Russians are taking, or the Soviets are taking, a bunch more of, of the territory of Ukraine, uh, which is all right, I, I suppose. Hmm, what else do we want to take? I, I take two Sicilies is all going to go to to Italy, so um, that I don't care about too about too much. Most of these nations we will be forced to release anyway. I suppose we want Nigeria, uh, mostly for the oil. I suppose I would also like to get some of this rubber here in the Republic of Congo. So let's do all of this area here. Sort of get a consistent base. I would also like to get Malta. Can I grab Malta? Yes, I can. That's nice. Uh, do they have any other territory? Certainly not down here. Madagascar is independent as and you don't really have this area anymore unfortunately this here we can forget for now I suppose let's take Sao Tome the, these islands we are an island nation what else are they doing it's just the Soviets it's just the Soviets eating eating all of this I suppose Interesting. Right, do we need tungsten? I don't think we do. We do need naval bases that are a little bit further away though. To expand sort of eastwards. Potentially threaten. What? Can I take this? No. It's not even German. Okay. Obviously cannot take any German provinces. Alright, um, that's alright though. I suppose this down here. Yeah. And these guys up here. I think it does make sense again to just sort of branch out like that. Do they own any other provinces? Hawaii has surrendered individually. So we don't need to take them. This here, come on, just a single victory point. And this here. Again, global outreach and all of that. Right, we've taken Cuba. So that's pretty much all right. No further states up here. Let's end turn here, then see what else they're going to do. Eat into East, Eastern Prussia and Kingdom of Ukraine. Yeah, okay, let's simply go all in on Africa here then. So I'll do this neo-colonial grab. 
we will have to release a large number of uh, nations here anyway, but simply to keep our stability on, on a sane level. And I think we will be getting some more more interesting events. So, yeah. Are they taking more? I suppose they will be. Oh, no. Now let's pass here. Now they have been taking some stuff. Danzig Arland. So they are also eating into Finland, interestingly. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Middle Africa. Can I take all states here? What else have you got? Well, basically all of Germany is independent. Obviously I cannot do that. <laughs> okay, let's reset. The Sicilies, Sweden. I cannot do this, can I? No. Yeah, the Soviets are eating deep into Germany. Okay, let's try to grab some stuff. We will, again, release a lot of this. To Sicily. And I suppose this is going to be a huge mess. Lots and lots of equipment, lots and lots of parts. German Empire over here. You are now sort of democratic? No, you are... Then peak, you are communist. You are pretty communist, actually. Um, but yeah, we will have to pass a lot of events over here where we are returning a lot of stuff uh, to their respective governments. Otherwise, we risk losing a lot in terms of... Um, in, in, in terms of political power. So... Nevertheless, the Donaubund has not been beaten yet, um, and that is very nice. To, that is very nice to see. Um, and then what we're going to do is so who are we still at war against? So we are still at war against all of the Donaubund. That's nothing to be sneezed at. It's still millions and millions of men. Dutch East Indies, Netherlands, Flanders, Wallonia. All of these guys are now in independent uh, factions. West Indies. They are going to fall very soon, I suppose. We are at least landing down here, and I think that will be the death of them. Uh, interestingly enough, we are not doing that much damage. Oh, because we only have one single re uh, marine division over here. But yeah, that being said, uh, I'm going to sort out the peace treaties here and, and the redistribution in between episodes. And I'm going to see you again next time. Bye-bye.